This is a Google Form tutorial for how you can use our Google Forms in your classroom. What we're looking at here is our atomic structure question companion from our science literacy article bundle. And this will be true of any of our Google Forms, but we just wanted to show you how you would go ahead and use those in your classroom. So the first thing that you're going to do here is you're going to open up this file, which is included in the resource, and you're going to see a couple of links. You're going to see a link at the top and a link right here. You can click on either one of those links and it's going to open up a web page for you. So let's go ahead and do that. And here's what it's going to look like. You're going to get a web page that pulls up Google Drive copy document. Would you like to make a, a copy of this question companion? So I'm going to click yes. I want to make a copy. And what that's going to do is that's going to copy it to your Google Drive. And the first thing that you're going to see here is up in the top left corner, it's going to go ahead and automatically put copy of whatever you've made a copy of. So this, in this case, it's Atomic Structure Science Literacy article. So we would recommend go ahead and delete that off of there, get rid of that. So it looks like this now. Then the very next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a, or sorry, you're going to want to move that to a folder. So right here, you see a little folder icon. You're going to click on that and that will allow you to put that in a specific folder within your Google Drive so that you can keep everything nice and organized. So take off copy of, and then very next thing, move to folder, click that. That's just an easy way to keep everything organized within your own Google Drive. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and you can scroll through everything that's on this Google form and you can edit any of this stuff that's on here to fit your needs for your classroom. So for example, up here at the top, you have a first name and last name for your students. So in here, you can go ahead and you can make that required or you can leave it off. We went ahead and we left everything not required right now so that you could go ahead and you could change that um, however you'd like to do. You can also put an answer key in here for some of the questions and you can create a quiz so that when students submit their responses it automatically grades the form and it sends that to you. So that's pretty simple there. You can kind of edit that however you'd like. Now once you've done that and you have it the way that you want it to be, up here in the top right corner there's a send button. That's what you're going to click when you're ready to send that to your students. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. It's going to pull up this screen and right here in the middle looks like a little paper clip that's a link icon I'm gonna click that and it's gonna pull up this big long link I don't want that too long so I'm gonna click shorten the URL and there we go nice and pretty nice and short link that's what I'm gonna share with my students so I can copy that and then I can share that via Google Classroom or email or I can post that on the board or I can post that on students desks or on a note card However I want to share that, um, you can do that and give that to your students. So that's the link that they're going to need. Now, after you've shared that with them, here's what they're going to see. When they click on that link or when they um, open that link, this is what students will see. So they can go through there, they can type in their answers, they can select their responses, they cannot edit anything on here other than just putting in their answers. And then at the very bottom, once they're finished with everything they're supposed to do, they click submit and that gets sent to you and everything's finished then. So pretty simple tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, you can always contact us at the science duo at gmail.com. But thanks for watching.